Hi, it's Eliana. So today I'm going to be talking about the Cliff High July 15th, July 16th, 2024 event and how I think that the Black Operations Group could be involved with that particular event. Recently, the Future Forecasting Group did a remote viewing on Cliff's, Cliff High's release event. And what was in Cliff High's event was this, that something huge is happening in the world, probably the United States. There is an event where there are missiles, there's UFOs, there's submarines, there's rockets, stuff like that. There are pyramid-shaped crafts, there's hidden bases, something is being uncovered, something is being tracked, something is being looked at and studied. Also, the future forecasting group, Dick Algeyer, Edward Daz Smith, what they picked up is looking at Cliff's, Cliff High's event, they did a remote viewing, totally blind, double blind. They picked up, Dick picked up that there was a group of scientists and military people perhaps sitting, sitting around a huge table and studying some kind of a projection of the moon, doing calculations, scientific mathematical calculations, trajectory of the moon, studying the moon, looking at the moon, tracking what's going on on the moon, some kind of an alien civilization coming back for their technology, retrieving it from a military facility, extraterrestrials coming back for something, ancient beings, perhaps reptilian in nature, insectoid, coming back to retrieve something that's theirs to take back, something that is being stored for them. Edward saw a UFO craft over houses or over a city. There was also a submarine monitoring something with gravity and propulsion systems monitoring a craft. There was a person in what looked like a submarine. Daz Smith saw something like a missile or a rocket hitting a large target, a large city area, urban area of some sort. There's a lot of activity, a lot of weird things going on. Cloaked craft, pyramid-shaped craft. That seems very familiar in what the Black Operation Operations Group is involved in. They've shot down Pleiadian ships, they've shot down Syrian ships, they've shot down insectoid reptilian ships, triangular looking crafts, they've shot down spheres. So this, this Black Operations Group has been using EMP scalar platform weapons, laser weapons since the 1940s to shoot down UFOs. They've been using psionics retrieved from third, third world countries during times of humanitarian disaster relief efforts like earthquakes, tsunamis, what happened in Sumatra and in Indonesia 2009, where a black operations group, black ops team went in, retrieved psionics in cryogenic stasis pods, put them in crates, loaded it up on a gravitic craft that looked like a triangle with a pyramid on top of it that Michael Herrera in his military, basically Marines platoon team witnessed the team that volunteered to go on the humanitarian mission from the USS Denver which was a ship stationed off of Indonesia for that humanitarian mission. They saw this craft, they saw these black operatives, black operations group operatives, doing this loading basically crates with people inside in stasis pods onto huge, like this was on shipping containers, attached to four-wheelers, loading this on 
like with trucks loading this on into a levitation platform onto this craft, hovering gravitic craft, black and gray and changing colors. And it was probably cloaked when it lifted off and went beyond the LZ site. I believe it's interconnected to Cliff High's July 15th, 16th, 2024 event where the extraterrestrials are likely coming back to retrieve their captured people. They're, because extraterrestrials have been captured and studied and imprisoned by the Black Operations Group and cloning centers, prison detaining facilities underground in black sites. So what I'm sensing from all of these parts of these different remote viewings, Cliff High's event, and what I know about the Black Operations Group is that the extraterrestrials who've had their people captured, their technology shot down, reverse engineered, they're coming back to retrieve their prisoners, to retrieve the ETs who've been captured, held prisoner in these black site underground facilities, research and development experimental facilities and cloning centers. What, what is most likely happening is that the ETs are coming back to retrieve their people, retrieve their technology, raid these black sites, remove what's not supposed to be there, and basically take it apart and dismantle it. I don't think they're going to kill anybody. I don't think that's the plan. These raids are supposed to be done in secret without any fanfare. But if the black operation operations group resists and they retaliate, these events might become somewhat public in UFOs being seen, in activities happening around these black site facilities, remote areas. This might seep out to the human consciousness of this event being seen. Because if the black operations group retaliates and goes on the defensive, this might go public somewhat. So I think that's what's going on here with submarines, with craft, missiles, something action, some kind of action happening around retaliation from the Black Operations Group. The ETs want to do their stuff quietly, retrieve their people, retrieve their tech, raid these facilities, dismantle, take it apart, remove the bad actors from the scene, for rehabilitation, for behavioral modification, rehabilitation, to work on removing these predatory behaviors in these human operatives. There's also the psionics involved. Some of the information seems to be showing that extraterrestrials have been held prisoners, psionics have been held prisoners, military personnel have been held prisoners. And people have been silenced, killed, and have disappeared if they try to disclose anything that happens in these black operations program activities and operations. People have gone missing. People have died, been killed, imprisoned. So Jack Connor from Cosmic Road YouTube channel just talked about what if this is the possibility of this July 15, 16th, 2024 event? Whistleblowers trying to disclose what's happening in this event as well, talking about it, that the ATs are coming back to get their people, get their, get their prisoners, their people that have been imprisoned and experimented on, and genetically, there's genetically modified soldiers and genetically hybridized humans who have had DNA, basically the DNA was extracted from the extraterrestrials that were captured by the Black Operations Group, studied, studied in these cloning centers, and then their DNA was grafted and implanted in humans, creating augmented soldiers, creating hybridized human armies, human soldiers, 
and hybridized human-looking extraterrestrials that are not the original extraterrestrials. They're the augmented exotic creations that the Black Operations Group has been working on creating. Hybridized human humans, now extraterrestrials, building extraterrestrials that are exotic, not the originals, but from their DNA, augmenting human soldiers with ET DNA that they shouldn't have in their bodies for psionic abilities, for strength, speed, agility, intelligence. Black Operations Group has been doing this for a while, these unlawful experiments. So the ETs want to shut that down. I would imagine that would be their priority to shut down these experiments and take down the cloning centers and the black sites and all of this stuff that's unlawful and just dismantle it and maybe repurpose it for better purposes, I would hope, because these black site facilities are underground, so maybe something can be done with them for a different purpose. I think that's what this July 15th, 16th, 2024 event is all about. I don't think it's humans attacking humans. I don't think it's war volatility. I think it is the ETs having raid operations on the Black Operations Group and their Black sites and their other facilities, experimentation facilities, taking them down, doing it quietly, not killing, not killing these operatives, but rounding them up and removing them from these sites for rehab as much as possible if it's possible and if they retaliate there might be some physical action of defense systems from the ets and this black operations group and their black sites so this is what i think that event entails and i think jack connor also reported on this correctly recently that this is the activity that will be taking place. He calls it the control group. I call it the black operations group. It's the same thing. And I think that's what's going to be happening in that event. I don't think it's, I don't think it's cryptid terrestrials attacking anything in a event of any type. I don't think this is a staged invasion event. I think it's takedowns and raids of secret facilities that has been overdue for a long time. And I think the psionics are also fed up with this stuff as well being, even though they volunteered for these assignments from third world countries and went willingly with this black operations group to connect to this non-human intelligence technology from these sh shot down crafts ufo crafts to figure out how reverse engineer that technology and how to psionically pilot these types of crafts and also connect to ets to shoot down the crafts i think they're fed up with that too and I think some of them have been held prisoner, the psionics, the human psionics with gifted abilities who have been collected by the Black Operations Group. They might be fed up with this too, and they might want more freedom than just living in these underground black sites, which are self-sustainable with their own food, their own living quarters, their own habitat, living environment habitat, but they're still living underground. They're not allowed to go up to the surface and just go shopping or go rent, a, go rent a place to live. They live in these facilities. They don't have any way of getting out of the facilities unless they're brought to the surface in stasis pods to shoot down crafts or to do other experimental things with their abilities. So I think these people want freedom to and th these operations are likely designed to get these psionics out of these locations to help them out as well. More freedom for humanity. I think that's what this event is all about. And it might be seen in some action on the surface scale. If things, you know, if this black operations group does not cooperate and does not get dismantled 
The easy way, something might be seen on the surface level of Earth, like events happening in these takedowns, or nothing might be seen because this is supposed to be done quietly, cloaked ships, take it down, raid it, dismantle, remove what needs to be gone, take care of business. That's how ETs do it. They do it behind the scenes. Nothing is seen. The crafts are cloaked. The takedowns are planned. The raids are planned ahead of time. It's clean operations done seamlessly. Nobody sees anything if nothing needs to be seen. That's how it's done, but something might be seen if this black operations group resists takedowns. Not to kill them, not to kill anybody, but clean it up, do the operations, and be done with it. It's one and done. Enough is enough. Clean it up, remove it, take care of business, have it all clean, and have these bad elements taken care of. That's what the scope of these operations is that I think Jack Connor is, I think, a person who reports on UFO stuff. He does a good job of it. I've seen some interesting behind the scenes remote viewing projects that have information about this stuff, I believe, and what's going on there. I've seen several of these kind of a project basis stuff going on. So I think this is interconnected to this event of July 15th, 16th. I cannot disclose at this time the remote viewing projects because there's still some stuff is in progress. There are projects that is group work, that it's assignment work. It is stuff that is still in progress, but I think it's related to this event and that's what's going on here. So I wanted to report on it and bring it forward so nobody panics, nobody is, oh my god, there's UFOs invading humanity. Something is staged here. We're, we're, it's nothing like this. It's not an invasion. It's not anything to cause anything of a bad nature for humans. I think it's the other way around what this is. So I just wanted to discuss that, the elements of this, and what I think it is, and what I think it is not. So thank you so much.